Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us uh, at his feet. Another beautiful Thursday. Uh, it is indeed a blessing to be here on this evening as we uh, just open up our hearts to just go into the word. Prior to us uh, beginning, Ansel and I was just in prayer and it is just, I know for me, I just feel the presence of the Lord mm -hmm. and it's just a blessing to be able to enter in. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. it, you just enter in and I, and I thank God for that. Mm -hmm. I pray that as uh, you hear my voice, that you ex are experiencing the presence of the Lord as well in your home, mm -hmm. that the busyness will just stop, mm -hmm. the distractions will mm -hmm. cease. Um, and that we would just now experience the peace uh, and the comfort of the Lord's presence as we uh, worship at his feet. Amen. Mm -hmm. I just want to go ahead and go into prayer uh, and then we will go ahead and continue in the word. And so, Lord, we just thank you. We thank you so much for your goodness on today. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Thank you for being so good. Thank you for being our father. Thank you for calling us away from the busyness of life to just sit and rest at your feet. Yes. Lord, how how many times we have forfeited just being able, just stopping and just taking the load, just, just stopping. Forgive us for not just stopping, for not experiencing the rest that you created for us to experience in this life. Uh, throughout the days and throughout our responsibilities, we just neglected the real reason that you have us here on the earth is to have relationship with you. We've, we, we've neglected it and we want to say we apologize. But I think as we entered into the fourth or fifth week of our study now, I pray that we are becoming more and more acclimated to looking forward to this day to just stop and to just bask in your presence. We thank you, Lord, that as we go into the word on this evening, that you will just open up the bread of life, that, you, that we will extract the nourish, nourish, nourishment and nutrients that you have placed inside of your word, that uh, it will fill our hearts and our minds, and it will give us that soul rest that we so desperately need and long for. You see the areas where we are fatigued and we just tired and exhausted. Lord, give us renewed strength tonight. Give us renewed strength through every conversation, through every comment, through everything, God. As we go into the word that we would just experience this strength. You are our strength, Lord. Thank you that your joy is our strength even now. I thank you. Thank you now. We thank you, Lord. Thank you for being good to us. Thank you for meeting us right where we need you uh, to be. And thank you, Lord God, that we will be found at your feet no matter what. That we will not be distracted by the business of the day, but we will be found worshiping you in Jesus' name. And so we thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. All right, so we're going to go into the word Amen. of God. I uh, don't want to really delay, but <laughs> on last week, uh, Ansel and I were in uh, Matthew 11, 28 through 30. And it was very good. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, that was, it was very, really good and enriching. And um, after prayer and discussion, we, uh, we wanted to continue in the flow of the Holy Spirit. And we're going to continue in. Uh, it's some key points that I feel that Ansley um, needs to develop or our desire. We desire for her to develop. And so we're going to uh, hear from her today, tonight, uh, those insights. Um, I will, I will share this with you, a quick testimony too, mm -hmm. um, that on, uh, uh, early, I want to say yeah, earlier this week, I was, uh, getting up and, um, uh, was preparing to, uh, go and to just have quiet time, but I could hear the Holy Spirit telling me to go back and lay down and rest. Mm -hmm. Um, but I still wanted to. Uh, go ahead and like do some chores around the house like when it's kind of quiet I can get things done yeah. but I kept hearing the, the, the Lord say go and lay down and get some rest and sure enough I stood in the hall and I wrestled for about <laughs> about 20 seconds and I said yes sir I went and laid down so mm -hmm. that goes back to when your soul needs that rest yeah. and your body needs that rest mm -hmm. like the Holy Spirit will begin to minister to your heart is what I'm trying to say he will minister to your heart and you will know when you need to do 
what he's called you to do. It may not be what you want to do, yeah. but he knows what's best for you. That's right. Anyway, I went ahead and I went and laid down. And so when it was time for me to actually get up for the morning to yeah. get going, I went ahead and I was getting up and I was preparing my mind to do what mm -hmm. I wanted to do earlier. Well, little did I know that what I was anticipating or wanting to get done was already done. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to just yeah. share that brief testimony that a lot of times you can go to do a thing, do a thing when God has already accomplished yeah. that thing yeah. for you. Like while he was touching my heart to rest, he was touching um, my husband's heart to stay up and complete a task yeah, for me. Amen. And so that's that flow. That's that mm -hmm. harmony. That's right. And so I just wanted to share uh, with, with everyone that when you hear the Lord to ask you to do something or, you know, that strong, just that yeah. you will know. You'll, yeah, you'll, you'll hear that prompting mm -hmm. or you'll feel his presence just saying, no, go this way. Go this way. Go ahead and trust it. And, and it's so funny when I actually did uh, think about me wanting, like I remember the moment of the wrestle yeah. in the hall. And I was sitting there and I was like, what if I didn't do what he asked me? It wouldn't have been as sweet. No, no. Nope, you know, not. I'm not saying I wouldn't have been appreciative, but it was just so much sweeter yeah. to know that it was as a result of an act of obedience. Yeah. Like it was yeah. like you had already covered that. And he didn't disclose. Yeah. You know that 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 it was done. What yeah. my heart was yeah. uh, wanting to complete mm -hmm. for uh, for the family. So mm -hmm. I don't know what it is that you may be believing God for, but just always continue to keep your heart and your your ears and, yeah. and open to hearing what He's saying, and mm -hmm. be willing and obedient to just go ahead and mm -hmm. go with that flow. Mm -hmm. But I did want to share that testimony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You look cute, Ansley, or whatever. Thank you. I am. Oh, that's another thing. I'm telling you about that up too. Okay, after this, I'm going to start talking. This is just preliminary. This is girlfriend talk. Okay. Because I didn't talk to Ansley this week, so now she got to catch it. But I would like to encourage all of the ladies, encourage everyone to 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 take time to take a look at War Room again. Please take a look at that movie again. I know it's not to say that you may be having issues, uh, mm -hmm. the same issues that may be um, being featured in the movie. Yeah. I don't want to do a spoiler yeah. alert, but you may not be experiencing that. But I do want you to take a look at the movie and look at the strategies yeah, and look at the methods or the, the the disciplines that were done in the movies and, and apply them in your life. Yes. It doesn't yeah. have to be at once but you definitely want to start implementing these yeah. things yeah. and i would even go so far to say that we are already experiencing one of them meaning when we meet every thursday yeah. like yeah. this is a part of that yeah. uh entering into that warfare and the discipline. doing that that yeah. discipline yes mm -hmm. we're practicing yeah. we're in training yeah. so yeah. that when we know that the, with the work comes rest yeah. versus work work, right. work 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 yeah. like don't yeah. just be found working at one arm yeah. you know yeah. Uh, so anyway, take a look at War Room. I think you can get it on some of the streaming um, streaming platforms or buy the movie, whatever. But I want you to look at it, and it's just something good to have for yeah, for, for years to come. Yeah. And it's an old movie, but it's very relevant. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so now I'm done. Now, Ansley, take it away. <laughs> <laughs> well, good evening, ladies. I'm gonna get right into it. Last week, um, in addition to soul rest um i touched a little bit on um john the first part of the chapter of mark matthew that we were in so what i want to do is look at the parallel scripture to that that's in luke and it's luke chapter 7 um and it starts at verse um 18 and so i'm going to tie in how doubt how faith, how all of that still plays a part of soul rest. Because if you're doubting, then you're not at rest either. Amen. So let's just look real quick at Luke chapter 7, um, starting at verse 18. And I'll be reading out the New Living Translation. It says, the disciples of John the Baptist told John about everything Jesus was doing. So John called for two of his disciples, and he sent them to the Lord to ask him, are you the Messiah we've been expecting or should we keep looking for someone else? 
John's two disciples found Jesus and said to him, John the Baptist sent us to ask, are you the Messiah? We've been expecting, or should we keep looking for someone else? At that very time, at that very time, Jesus cured many people of their diseases, illnesses, and evil spirits, and he restored sight to many who were blind. Then he told John's disciples, go back to John and tell him what you have seen and heard. The blind see, the lame walk, those with leprosy are cured, the deaf hear, the dead are raised to life, and the good news is being preached to the poor. And he added, God blesses those who do not fall away because of because of me. Amen. So I want to stop there because um, I think I did bring out last week that if John the Baptist, we talked about, if he doubted, then how much more do you think we're going to experience seasons of doubt, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's just a natural thing. And sometimes we feel guilty about having doubt, but that's that's natural. Matter of fact, sometimes doubt will show you that you are in the faith. How? Well, because even if you're taking the time to doubt, that means that you have questions and that you have a heart to pursue or find out what truth is. So doubt can be a good thing. It's a human thing. Mm -hmm. You know, we doubt in many different ways. So when it comes to that doubt, um, it leads you in the way of truth. It's kind of yeah, like it it's will a, lead it's you to search nurture. for truth. Oh, yeah, right. that's what I'm trying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Doubt will lead you to search for truth because no one likes that feeling of doubt. Mm -hmm. And that unsurety, right? Mm -hmm. So that will cause you to seek truth. Um, but here's something key, and I don't remember if I brought this out last week, was Jesus' response. Did we talk about that? We did, and that's why. I, see, good. see, okay, guys, see. I see. But, yes, <laughs> I love it. So good. All right, so, <laughs> but the other key thing that we re I really want you to see in this is Jesus' response. So my first point is, did Jesus rebuke John for his doubt? In other words, did he say like he told his disciples on another occasion when oh, they yeah. were in the boat, he said, oh, ye of little faith. When they got all nervous because the boat was moving and water was coming, Jesus is down at the bottom of the boat sleep and everybody's kind of freaking out. <laughs> and Jesus is like, oh, ye of little faith, right? Did he respond that way to, to uh, John? He did not. What did he say? So we pick it up again. Let me pick that up again. His response was what? He said... Basically, go back to John and tell him what you have seen and heard. So right at that moment when his disciples came, Jesus was actually working those miracles. He was giving him what confirmation he was giving him yes, signs assurance. and wonders. Right. Sometimes we're also made to feel guilty about saying, OK, Lord, I need a sign, you know, and that's not always a bad thing to ask. You know, because God will answer and give you that sign like with John. He did not rebuke him. He did not say you a little faith. What did he do? He actually went forward and performed miracles during that time for his disciples to see. He said, now you go back and tell John what we did. You know, because like when, when you, and, and you sharing an answer, it's kind of like go and reassure him. Yeah, exactly. Because now you think about it, John is in prison. Exactly. So he's isolated. He's, isolated. he's cut off. Yep. You know, and I think that a lot of times we try to, mm -hmm. we, we, we put prisons yeah. like modern day, yeah. but this is like in stones, yeah. like these this are in dungeons. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. luxury. No, yeah, there was nothing <laughs> yeah. luxury yeah. about it. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so John needed to know, like I hadn't seen the works, you yeah. know, I was your forerunner, but now I am, and, yeah. and it's, that doesn't take away from yeah. the work that he did, yeah. but it's just that he hadn't seen it in a while. Yeah. You know how sometimes mm -hmm. you just like, just let me, just let me know that yeah. you, he's I'm still on prison. point. Yeah. yeah. I'm still, I'm locked up. And, and sometimes in being locked up, you can be blind. You can be yes. obscure. Yeah. You can be just not sure yeah. anymore. Yeah. Amen. You're not in fellowship. So you don't have another Christian to sit there and talk to you and encourage you. The other thing is that the, 
the that's body. A Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. That's a good point that you mm -hmm. just brought up too, mm -hmm. because this is what this fellowship yes, is about. Absolutely. I didn't want to move yes, off of that yep. because now the beautiful part is that Ansley and I do have a relationship, yeah. and we mm -hmm. sharpen each other, yep, right? Absolutely. We are yep. sharpening each other in the word, and so mm -hmm. we don't want you just to be found viewing us, yeah, or just have us on, yeah, right? Yeah. Find that friend that yeah. you can grow and sharpen yeah. with. That's the purpose, yep. you know. Mm -hmm. Even absolutely. though it was Martha and Mary yeah. there, and one was busy and one was at his feet, but they still had a connection, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And so yeah. you know that girlfriend that you have a connection with, yeah. like connect, mm -hmm. and yeah. to connect for the best, right? Not for the destruction, right. but for the right. betterment right. of the relationship. Amen. 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 That's good. And here's the other thing. The Jews of that time, they were looking at old testament right in old testament prophecies and they were looking for the messiah right they were looking for the messiah of isaiah 61 go check that reference mm. out later they were looking for the messiah that was going to come right not as a humble servant but that was coming to free the captives mm -hmm. right so now add that to john's psyche if you will i'm locked up i've been here and i proclaim this message that this is the messiah but I'm still in prison. So add that to his humanness. You know, that those are some of the things that he was going through. So, and what lets <laughs> us know that his doubt was not sin. That's the point I want to make. Amen. All doubt is not sin, right? Because oh, how do we know that? Because of Jesus' response. How did he respond to John? He encouraged him. And then we're going to go a little bit deeper and see what Jesus said. So after encouraging him from the standpoint, hey, I'm going to work these miracles. I'm going to give you signs and wonders, right? Why? Because he knew the motive and the intent of John's heart. Yeah. It wasn't, John, I'm just seeking for a sign and wonder, mm -hmm. right? I'm not looking for the multiplying of the fish and the loaves. Yeah. You know, I'm not looking for that, right? I need to really be encouraged. And in those moments when you need Preach. to really be encouraged, yes. when you're walking in doubt because the day is dark, because you can't see your way out, then know that God is not upset with you for doubting. All he is saying is, come to me, going back, ye who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give your mind rest come on. all your doubts. I will give your mind rest from your doubts. All you have to do is come to me because I have, all, I'm your source of supply, Lord. Don't worry about all the rituals, God. All the things that you have been told you have to go through. Stop with the rituals and the routines and just put that down and come to me for your rest. Ansley. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. Because this is the thing that, that I get to. Mm -hmm. John mm -hmm. is exhausted. Exhausted. Think about it. Mentally. He was already in the wilderness before, yes. you know? Yes, he was already <laughs> alone. Yes. He was already alone in the wilderness. This is the one that cried out in the wilderness. What is the wilderness mm -hmm. experience? In the wilderness, you are alone. Nobody else is out there cheering you on because your message is unique. He had a unique message that hadn't been heard yet. Not quite like this. So he was out there in the wilderness alone already. Then he found the Messiah connected, right? So a little bit of, of a reprieve, right? But then here he ends up in jail again for telling the truth. For telling the truth about sin. Go look at the story if you want to find that. I can't remember the reference now, but you can look a little bit further back in the Gospels and find the story of why John the Baptist was in prison, right? But then he ends up again in prison after the wilderness. Mercy, mm -hmm. and 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 it kind of goes back even to the the testimony that I gave earlier. Yeah. you know, yep. like like yep. you know, Absolutely. stopping the um, mm -hmm. stopping the the ritual, right? Yeah, just out of routine. Yeah. It's okay, it's okay, okay, I'm up. Go yep. have quiet time. Okay, yep. start the household. Yep. You know, routine. Yep. And in the and in the plight of maintaining. Yep. Uh, the worshiping at his feet, right? That can become kind of yeah. rote. Yeah. 
if you don't, you know, become routine if you yeah. don't watch it. Yep, absolutely. And so at that time, he did not desire for mm-hmm. me to go into the yeah. the front room. He mm-hmm. desired for me to go and to rest yes. physically yeah. and for my soul to receive that. Mm-hmm. Why? Because he had already prepared the way. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And so even for John, you know, yeah. you think about he was already, you know, experiencing that freedom and that liberty. Yep. But a lot of times things in life will try to lock you up and yeah. blind you yeah. from the, the relationship that yeah. you know you have. Yeah. Uh, that Amen. word is so rich right now. Yeah. And, and I will say that even the days like both of us are mm-hmm. wives, are mothers, mm-hmm. um, we're working on trying to make sure that we develop as women yeah. individually as mm-hmm. well as become who God has created yeah. us to be in all of yeah. our roles and stuff. Yeah. It can be downright exhausting. Yeah. Yeah. And so I know that, um, like, even now, I really do feel the presence of God. Yeah. He's like, just breathe. Like, mm-hmm. it doesn't even matter. Like, what what if we go over or go under or yeah. we miss the mark or we do it? It's or okay. We be, yeah. It's okay. Like, you showed up. Mm-hmm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Okay. Yeah. And I'm wonder, I want to share something else that Jesus said about John as, he go, as we go down. So when you get to, let's see, I read through to verse 23. So 24 says, after John's disciples left, after his disciples left now, Jesus began to talk about him to the crowds. Now, what do you think Jesus was going to say about John? Do you think Jesus went on and gossiped behind his back? You know what I mean? That Jesus, now that his disciples were gone, that he began to, to gossip and say, now see there? Talking about he need a sign. Look, he now, there sign. he go. There he go again. Uh-huh. <laughs> Just like now, all that I done done, he's still talking about a sign. Do we think that that's what Jesus did? Let's hear what Jesus says. Jesus says, what kind of man did you go into the wilderness to see? Was he a weak reed, swayed by every breath of wind? Come on, Jesus. Or were you expecting to see a man dressed in expensive clothes? No. People who wear beautiful clothes and live in luxury are found in palaces. Were you looking for a prophet? Yes, and he is more than a prophet. John is the man to whom the scriptures refer when they say, look, I am sending my messenger ahead of you and he will prepare your way before you. Listen to this part, y'all, I want y'all to get this. I tell you of all who have ever lived, none, is greater than John. Yet even the least person in the kingdom of God is greater than he is. That's deep. Okay, Anson, come on, Professor. Please <laughs> expound. <laughs> Listen, so after Jesus goes to look, who are you looking for? To, what did you expect to see? You expected exactly. to see all these right. other different characters, array of characters, right? But no, that's not who was in the wilderness. And I'm going to tell you, yes, he did doubt. But let me confirm who he is for you. Even in the midst of his doubt, there is none greater than him. (laughs) What did he say? There is none ever great. There was none that ever lived that was greater than John. But yet, even the least person in the kingdom of God is greater than he is. Hmm. That sounds a bit circular to me. Like that's kind of going around in a circle. But what is Jesus saying? Is that there is none that belong to him that are less than. Do you understand what I'm saying? All that belong to him are great. Why? Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world, God. You have been made, fear, you have been fearfully and wonderfully made. That's the Old Testament scripture, right? But now that you are a believer, you have the spirit of God living on the inside of you, right? So you are not less than. The Bible does not teach us to think lowly of ourselves, right? We're not supposed to, what it tells us to do is to not think more highly of ourselves than we ought to. But we are supposed to have a high opinion of ourselves. Why? Because we are queens. We are princesses for our younger girls, right? Because our father is a king. Amen. So even Jesus is saying, look, there's none greater than John. And yet he died. And what did I do? I gave him proof, right? Because he is still my disciple. He is the one that prepared the way for me. And I'm letting you know that my seal of approval is still on him. Amen. 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 I, if you don't mind, I would mm-hmm. like to read the uh, the commentary. Yeah. Um, and again, we don't want to take for granted that mm-hmm. everyone knows the different tools, but yeah. 
currently what I uh, am using is a uh, is the New Living Translation Study Bible, mm -hmm. and it has commentary at the bottom, like underneath yeah. the scriptures that yeah. kind of help expound mm -hmm. or explain the, the scripture that we that we are reading. Mm -hmm. Not all of them, but some of them. Yeah. And so with this one, it said, of all people, this is for uh, Luke 7 and 28, mm -hmm. of all people, no one fulfilled his God-given purpose mm -hmm. better than John. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine from the from the womb, yeah. right? Yeah. He was yeah. already going back to what we said last week. Yeah. He was filled with the Holy Spirit, yeah. like yeah. upon the meeting. It was yeah. like a divine a womb yeah. connection, connection, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so he knew what his assignment was yeah. and he stayed yeah. in that path. That's so yeah. amazing. Yeah. Um yeah. and it say, yet in God's kingdom, all who come after John have a greater spiritual heritage mm. because they have clearer knowledge of the purpose of Jesus' yeah. death and resurrection. Absolutely. We got the scriptures. Come on. We got it all spelled out for And we got his spirit living on the inside, inside of us. Yes. Because John wasn't filled with the Holy Ghost the way that we are. Yes. Why? Because Jesus was still on earth. Mm. See, the Holy Spirit didn't come to after Christ's death, burial, and resurrection. Mm. So maybe the Spirit came upon John, but he wasn't indwelt with the Spirit like we are. Mm -hmm. So then it goes back because, like I said, explain yeah. it when I was saying, <laughs> Professor, explain yeah. it. Now that makes sense. He said, mm -hmm. "I tell you, I tell you, of all who have ever lived, none is greater than John. Yeah. Yet even the least in the kingdom yeah. of God is greater." greater why yep. the, the, i mean and that go to Crazy. show you the holy you. spirit changes everything. everything it's a game change it's a game changer <laughs> it flips it yep. amen yep. absolutely so now 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 it's like so in my mind and it's so funny because i promise you we didn't know how time this was. i right. can so hear kb again <laughs> so who coming for me right i got a whole army and who running i'm not what i'm running for a whole <laughs> army mm -hmm. tell me who gonna come for me yeah. greater, greater is, is the one who lives come on <laughs> yeah. and he is in the me on the inside that's right look okay so y'all know i'm big on words right mm -hmm. he's in me to defend every enemy yes amen that enemy of doubt yeah, amen absolutely. of absolutely. exhaustion amen yeah, yeah. of tiredness the enemy of my soul those are enemies of my soul Come my, on. my body and my both my emotions and my volition right Ashley mm -hmm. Ashley mm -hmm. I feel my help y'all I'm about to run around <laughs> up in here it's a you know. blessing yeah. it makes sense it all now makes sense. it all makes sense. thank God yes Hallelujah. That my soul don't yes. have to be tired. Yes. Hallelujah. He could have come to save my arm, my foot, my mm -hmm. finger, my whatever. But he mm -hmm. said, give me that soul, that mm -hmm. delicate part, mm -hmm. that invisible part, that mm -hmm. part of you, yeah. Jesus, yes. that nothing can feel but me. Yeah. I'm going to put me in there because yeah. I know that enemy. Yeah. He'll yeah. come with all kinds of doubts yeah. and fears. Yeah. Hallelujah. Pains of the past yes. and calm them hurts, those bruises oh. that you just think you can never be free from. Oh, thank you, Lord. Live in that. Live in that. What shame, what guilt. Yes. Oh, thank you, Lord. You don't know the cost of this all. Yes. You don't know the cost of this praise. He saved us, Ashley. Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah, God. Thank you for salvation of the soul. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Hallelujah. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's exciting stuff. That's for the young ladies that's coming up. Yeah. For the old ones, that, the, 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 the more seasoned ones. Maybe, like, the old, but tired. you know, yeah. May feel tired. Come on. You may feel like, hey, I don't have anything else to give. The devil is a lie. Our John moments where we feel locked up and bound. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Go tell her what you see. Yeah. Go tell her what you see. Yeah. Amen. Captives yeah. are being set free yes, in Jesus' name. Are. 
I command every shackle, every fetter, every chain to be broken in the name of Jesus. Now when I hear the chain, I believe this and know that it's another one that you got free. But you're not coming for me. Hallelujah. You're not coming for my friend. Oh, hallelujah. When we hear chains falling now, when we hear them, we know that they done fell off of somebody. Yeah, you're not coming to lock me up. I'm too free. And you know how we know he's gonna do Hallelujah. it? Hallelujah. I'm gonna tell you how. Because of faith. Now, something I've been saying for years, why well, I need to correct myself, why well, I've been saying faith is blind, but it's not it? deaf. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, the scripture that says faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. That's specifically in Romans 10, Romans chapter 10, either verse 8 or 9, maybe a little bit further mm-hmm. down, but that's your reference. Um but that one is referring to saving faith, right? Mm-hmm. That faith that you have to have to be saved. But faith is actually not blind. You know why? Because the faith I have right now is based on the faith that I have seen God do in the past. Yeah. So it's not blind. My faith is informed. Why? My faith mm. is informed by the past and what I have seen God do. So why now, as God show, yeah, you better have that. I'm going to show myself to you again. And I want you to remember those things that I have done for you already. See, that's why faith is not necessarily blind. Maybe you can't see right now how this thing is going to be done. Mercy. I haven't seen him do this thing. See, faith is the evidence of things hoped for, but faith is the evidence of things not seen. No. I'm hoping for Look, this thing right yet. here. Not seen yet. <laughs> Amen. Yes, faith, right? The thing that you are waiting on now, you can't see, but you done seen. And I'm going to say it just like that. Preach. You done seen him do some stuff yes. in your life. Yes. And that's what you have to hold on to. Mercy. You've seen that. You've heard him. You've heard him speak to you. And that's what you hold on to. Because our God is faithful and he does not cause us to follow him blindly he shows himself to us and so we hold on to those things that we have seen him do and know just god mm-hmm. just like you came through just like you showed me time and time again i know that you're gonna come through for me on this time and because of that my soul can rest as I have doubts, as they creep in, because the enemy of my soul has tried to come upon me and eat of my flesh. That is Psalms 27. I may be a little bit wrong on that, but I'm almost sure. When it says, when my enemies, even my foes, come upon me to eat of my flesh, it says, David said, they stumbled and fell. We finna go there. Come on. Yeah, that's, that's Psalm good. 27. Uh-huh, that's good. It, it, because because, because the, the, it goes in line with, um, mm-hmm. it goes in line with the text. The Lord is my light and my yes. salvation. So why should I be afraid? Why? Come on. Listen. Whom shall Ooh. I fear? <laughs> Whom shall me. I be afraid? Yes. The Lord is my light and yes. salvation. Yes. Whom <laughs> shall I fear? I will wait yes. on him. And yes. I will trust yes. in him. Yes. The song will say, That's I will trust yes. in you. I will wait on you. Come on. Yes. And I will trust, I will trust in you. you. Yep. Woo, that's good. Come on. Come on, y'all. Psalm 27. Come on. We're gonna then we're gonna go let yeah. go back with this good. This is this, this it, Anthony. Yeah. It say it's Psalm 27, and it's in the NLT. The Lord is my light and sal mm-hmm. and my salvation. So why should I be afraid? The Lord is my fortress protecting me from yeah. danger. Yes. So why should I tremble? Why? When evil people come to devour me. Yes. When my enemies and foes attack me, yeah. they will stumble 
and fall. Yes. Though a mighty army surrounds me, yes. my heart will not be afraid. Yes. And what are those enemies again of the heart? Because yeah. now this is not a, this is not like a, a, a an army, like a yeah. phys, like yeah, physical people. Not, oh, I mean, you know, yeah. what are some of the the the, the, the army, enemies. the enemies of that the heart? Come to eat of our flesh, come yes. to devour us. What is that? Oh, fear. fear. Uh huh. Being, uh, let me see, fear. Mm -hmm. Uh, you got doubt. You got worry. worry. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Got all those things. This right here is here for me right here. <laughs> in, in, in verse three, it's saying, "Though a mighty army surrounds yes. me, my heart will not be afraid. Even yes. if I am attacked, we will call those panic attacks." Yeah. yeah Amen. Yeah. Though I may be experiencing a, a, a panic attack, yeah. I might be hyperventilating. Yeah. I might be out of breath. Yeah. He said, "I will remain confident." Yes. The one thing I yes. ask of the Lord. Going back to their yes. one need for thing. Come, come on, on y'all. You got to see this flow. <laughs> you got to see this. I'm telling you we didn't plan this. This is all Holy Ghost right here, y'all. <laughs> Mercy. The one thing I ask of the Lord, the thing I seek most is to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my <laughs> life doing what? Delighting. <laughs> see, okay, so now we we hide. We, we, this King James yes. and NLT. It works. Yes. Delighting in the Lord's perfections and meditating in his temple. Yes. He will conceal me when mm -hmm. he he will conceal me there where trouble ugh, when trouble comes. Mm -hmm. He will hide me in his sanctuary. Yes. He will place me out of reach on a high rock. He will set me. Come up. on. That's what he then said. I will <laughs> hold my head high above my enemies who surround me at his sanctuary. I will offer up sacrifices with shouts of joy, singing and praising yes. the Lord with music. Hear me as I pray, O oh Lord. Yes. Be merciful and answer. Yes. My heart has heard you say, come and talk yes. to me. Come on. Come on. <laughs> and my heart responds, Lord, I am coming. Yes. Do not turn your back on me. <laughs> Do not reject your servant in anger. Why? Because mm -hmm. I know it was some days where I delayed. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Listen, you yes. have always been my helper. Do not yes. leave me now. Do not abandon me. Do oh God! Oh, last verse, verse. number ten. Get number ten in there. Come on, cause that's it. Now, see, that's oh, the clutcher for me. Y'all, look, I'm about to stand up in here. Oh my goodness! Listen, oh, Ashley, I gotta read it for my friend. I'm gonna let her. Yes, let the Lord have His way. That last verse, verse ten, that we're gonna read says, "When my father and my mother forsake me." Then the Lord will take me up. Mercy. Just meditate on that for a minute. Because some of you have experienced rejection. Not from some random family member, some cousins who didn't get down like it is. Some of you have experienced rejection from your father and from your mother. But you have a promise. Listen to me. You have a promise in the word of God that says, look, if they reject you, if they forsake you, I got you, baby. I got you. I will be all that you, you need. I am. I am. I am. And that's why you can rest despite whatever rejection despite being told that you were less than despite being made to feel like you weren't worthy like you didn't measure up you have a god that with open arms that say i got you i am i'm all sufficient i'm all sufficient for you And so, Lord, we just thank you now. Yes. Thank you, Lord. We're going to conclude this study yes. uh, with verse 11 being our uh, close. Yeah. And so, Lord, we ask you to teach us how yes. to live, oh, Lord. Yes. Lead us along the right path yeah. where our enemies are waiting for us. Yes. Lord, please do not let us fall into their yes. hands. God. 
for they accuse us of things that we've never done, yes. and every breath they threaten us with yes. violence. Yet we will remain confident yes. that we will see your goodness, yes. O Lord, while we are here in the Hallelujah. land of the living. We will wait patiently yes. for you, O Lord. We will be brave and courageous. Yes, we will wait patiently for you. Yes. Lord, we thank you for the richness of your glory. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord, for this moment at your feet. Yes. Thank you for our souls being revived. Thank you, Lord, for our souls experiencing the rest that only you can provide. Yes, God. Thank you for your will being done. And thank you for your kingdom coming. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen.